One of the things that I enjoy about Kogias is the fact that the relationships among its characters are important to the story. I especially like the many romantic relationships and how they develop. One of those is how Colin feels about Lelouch. In the poem from Kogias' complete best CD called Yukio Sensuka, we learn that Colin loved Lelouch and would have sacrificed her life for him. I want to quote one line from that poem, I fell in love with you, not just because of that kindness. After this quote, I decided to look into how Colin's relationship with Lelouch develops throughout Code Geass. So in this video, I'm going to discuss how Colin went from Zero's loyal soldier to Lelouch's lover. The best way to do this is to start at the beginning. So I'll start from how Colin feels about Lelouch and Zero separately, then how she feels about after she learned Zero's identity, and finally discuss why she changes while in captivity, and how she demonstrates this towards the end. Before I start, there will be spoilers in this video. So with that out of the way, let's begin. So Colin and Lucia's relationship does not exactly start off on a good note. But Lucia's first major interaction with Colin almost resulted in revealing that he was the one who was helping them at Shinjuku. This is because he tried to use his Gios on the same person twice, that person being Colin, before learning that this was not possible. Colin at this point suspects Lelouch of being the voice on the communicator, but things escalate when Lelouch walks in on Colin while she is taking a shower to deliver her clothes since her older ones were wet from the champagne bottle. Lelouch used this opportunity to remove suspicion of him by having Sayako call the room and replay the voice recording. Colin hears the message on the phone and believes that Lelouch is not the one who helped them out at Shinjuku. Lelouch, acting a little mature at the time, also humiliates Colin by mentioning that he can see her naked. Granted, she seems okay afterwards, and the two of them walk down the hallway as if nothing happened. So maybe the two are becoming friends. However, this would change in stage 9, where Lelouch demonstrates that while he has intelligence, he has no ambition, which pisses off Colin. From my observation, Colin seems to be attracted to people who have ambitions and goals, and is the exact opposite of those who do not. We see this in how she treats Lelouch in this scene, and what she tells C2 in turn 23. Colin's relationship with Lelouch continues to be just classmates and nothing more. There is a scene where Shirley asks Colin if she likes Lelouch. This all started because of a misunderstanding where Lelouch grabbed Colin, which looked like he was going to kiss her, but in reality it was so she would not see C2. But now let's move on to how Colin feels about Zero before the events of the Black Rebellion. Colin immediately has loyalty to Zero even before Lelouch becomes Zero. After Lelouch saved Colin from Jeremiah in Stage 2, she returned the favor and protected him from Suzaku in the Lancelot. Even though Zero refused to remove his mask, Colin still trusted him. She was willing to help him in the plan to save Suzaku, despite the fact that she could die. There are even other times in the story where Colin could have seen Zero's face, but refused to do so out of respect for him. As the events go on, and Zero's miracles continue, and Colin becomes more enamored with him, to the point where Colin becomes excited when she's able to help him out in any way. One of my favorite examples is when Zero promotes her to be in charge of the Zero Squad. You can just tell from her voice how happy she is to be given this title. Khan was even willing to stay with Zero even after the events in Narita, which killed Shirley's father. What's important here is that Zero told her she could leave at any time, but Khan decided to stay anyways. All this would come to a screeching halt during the events of Kamina Island, where Shizaku shoots Zero in the head, revealing that he was loose this whole time. Colin felt betrayed at this moment, as she learned that the man who was running the Black Knights was Lelouch. She felt used by Lelouch for his own gain. Everyone was aware that Lelouch was not Japanese, but Zero revealed that his main goal was to create a new nation for Japan. He obviously wanted to destroy Britannia, but helping the Japanese came first. Colin felt at this moment it was the opposite. At this point in the story, Colin feels betrayed by Lelouch and is still loyal to Zero. Despite the betrayal, Colin works with C2 and the Black Knights to rescue Lelouch. After Lelouch gets his memories back from C2, he takes control of the situation and goes back to leading the Black Knights. Colin confronts him alone, which leads to a very important meeting between the two. Colin asks Lelouch did he use his Gios on her to control her mind. Lelouch lies and tells the truth at the same time, because he stated that he never used his Gios on her, which is false, but since the command that he used on her was not to make her loyal, her mind was her own. Lelouch then proceeded to tease that he could see Colin's cleavage in her outfit. This is now the second time he has humiliated her for the same reason. Colin makes it perfectly clear that she serves Zero and not Lelouch. I get the impression that she is trying to forget 
who Zero's true identity is. She clearly cannot stand Lelouch at this point. After the hostage rescue, Lelouch jokes with Colin about their relationship. Since Colin has shown that she cannot handle these topics, she pivots and asks about the Zero Squad. This is another example of Colin demonstrating that she only cares about helping Zero and not Lelouch. All this comes full circle in stage 7, where Colin prevents Lelouch from taking refrain. In this scene, Colin tells Lelouch that he needs to be Zero. He has obligations to keep, and at the very least, just pretend. What's important here is that Colin does not mention Nunnally at all. As we know, Lelouch did all of this to help Nunnally. She is, after all, his reason for living. So Colin completely ignoring her shows she only cares about Zero's goals and not Lelouch's. Throughout Kokios, we learn that when any of the three love interests show any interest in helping Nunnally, that is the moment that they show their love for Lelouch v. Britannia and not one of his other identities. From the incident in turn 7, Colin clearly only likes Zero and the relationship is not romantic. It's more like Colin does not know what to do with her life, so she needs Zero to give her direction and purpose. Without him, she would be lost. There are two more moments I want to discuss before moving on to when Colin speaks to Nunnally while in captivity. Colin falls on Lelouch while daydreaming how she is happy that he's acting like his normal self. The conversation between them is a bit cryptic, but what it shows is that Colin maybe likes Lelouch as a friend. But Colin only seems to feel this way as long as Lelouch continues to be zero. The other moment is after Colin is captured by Zin K. Colin apologizes to Lelouch on the Nightmare Frames communicator. Lelouch then responds with, it doesn't matter and he will save her no matter what. Colin then says, I am waiting Lelouch. Notice how she says Lelouch and not Zero. This is very interesting since Colin has shown earlier to only like Zero and not Lelouch. So why did she not say Zero instead? Let's continue to find out. While Colin is in captivity, she is often visited by Nunnally, Lelouch's sister. It's through these conversations that Colin learns about the real Lelouch. Keep in mind, Colin has only gotten to know Lelouch, Lamperouge, and Zero, which are both just false aliases. Colin loves her brother, and his death was one of the motivators for her to keep going and to fight the Britannia. So to get Nunnally's perspective on Lelouch as a brother clearly changed her view on him. There is even a scene in turn 17 where Colin is trying to figure out who the real Lelouch is. It becomes obvious how she feels after her rescue in turn 18. After Ogi decides to give up Lelouch for Japan, Colin goes to retrieve Lelouch. While they're in the elevator, Lelouch apologizes for taking a long time to rescue her. Colin then brings up Nunnally and how she saved her life. While they walk out of the elevator, Colin tries to comfort Lelouch on his loss by talking about how her brother died and how she tried to deal with that situation. What's important here is that Colin has never been this friendly to either Zero or Lelouch before. She was talking to him as a friend, and possibly more. And since she was talking about Nunnally, Colin is showing an interest in the real Lelouch and his real problems. In this famous scene where the Black Knights are about to kill Lelouch, he says out loud that Colin was his greatest pawn, but whispers quietly that Colin needs to live so only Colin can hear it. After Lelouch escapes with the help of Rollo, Colin is determined to figure out what Lelouch meant by you have to live. She even charges to the place where Lelouch went to enter Sea's world to fight his father. Colin gets her chance when she meets up with Lelouch at Ashford Academy. As they walk through the club room, Colin asks Lelouch what he meant by you have to live. Lelouch does not respond. I believe he did this for the same reason he ignored Rivold, which was not to break his character and act as the evil Emperor Lelouch. After Lelouch does not answer Colin's question, she then kisses him. This is important since this was her first kiss and we learned early on in the series she wanted to say it for someone important and special. This is the moment where I originally thought Colin declared her love for Zero, but after reevaluating everything that I know and that we learned from the series, she confessed her love for Lelouch in this scene. Lelouch, after the kiss, still ignores Colin, again for the same reasons as I mentioned before, and she says goodbye to Lelouch. She would also do the same thing again after breaking into the Avalon to kill Lelouch. Colin also interrupted a tender moment between C2 and Lelouch. I've always speculated if they put this scene in the show to mirror the one earlier in the series where C2 interrupted Colin and Lelouch's tender moment. It is also important to point out that Colin is crying as she confronts Lelouch, which demonstrates that she is heartbroken after being rejected. C2 then proceeds to fight Colin, and we get this interesting conversation where Colin asks C2 if she loves Lelouch. This makes sense as throughout the series, Colin has always been jealous of C2. 
She was angry that Fitu knew Lelouch's identity and how she was always with him. This fight between the two was a perfect climax to this conflict. But let's now fast forward to the end of R2, where everything is made perfectly clear. If there was any doubt if Khan loved Lelouch and not Zero, this scene will change your mind. When Suzaku as Zero approaches Lelouch, Colin speculates that it could be Suzaku. As Suzaku pulls out his sword and prepares to kill Lelouch, Colin moves rapidly because she wants to help him, which is impossible at the moment since she is locked up and preparing to be executed with the rest of Lelouch's prisoners. As Suzaku stabs Lelouch, Colin starts to cry for him. What I love here is that for the first time, Colin is seeing both Lelouch and Zero. This is the point where she makes the choice that she loves Lelouch and not Zero. She even states it's Zero, it's him, implying that anyone could be Zero. It's just a role that anyone can play. For some reason, I have missed this point on the many times that I've rewatched this series. Colin is also shown at the epilogue staring at a photo of Lelouch. Notice that she does not have any individual photos of Zero on the same pegboard. All of her love for Lelouch is then confirmed in her poem that she wrote for him. And now we have come full circle and demonstrating how Colin went from a Zero admirer to someone who loves Lelouch v. Britannia. This video is based on the article that I wrote on this topic months back. I will leave it in the description below. If you want more videos like this one, like and share this video. If you want more Kogi S content and do not want to wait for videos to come out, then please check out my blog. I have plenty of Kogi S articles for you to read. Much like the manga and anime adaptations, my articles will come out first with a video version to be made later. Please grab my anime streaming guide. I am working on an update for this and I will have it soon. But the only way you'll know if it's ready is if you subscribe to my email list. Now I want to hear from you. What moments for you demonstrate how Colin fell for Lelouch? Do you still think Colin only loves Zero? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you next time.